Excuse me. Do you have determining the velocity of the unladen swallow by Fenster Farnsworth? Uh, the European version or the African edition? European? Uh, no, we don't have that. But I, I see it on the shelf, like right there. I'm sorry, sir, but if it isn't in my index, we do not have it. Look, this is absurd. I can see it right there. I'll just go and grab it. No. Let me repeat to you, if the book is not indexed, we do not have it. It's a funny thing. This is a lot like Google, actually. If Google doesn't index a page, it can't show it as a search result. There may be times that you actually don't want Google to index some of your pages. And in this episode of Here's Why from Stone Temple Consulting, you learn why that is and how to do it. Well, Eric, first off, what is a no-index tag? A no-index tag is an instruction to search engines that you don't want a page to be kept within their search results. Well, why would I want a page on my site excluded from search results? There are several situations where you might not want a search engine to index a page. One obvious circumstance would be a page that is poor quality or not the best quality page on your site about the topic, but you still want to keep the page on your site for some reason. However, there are other reasons you might want to no-index a page other than poor quality or thin content. For example, the page might be a landing page for an email campaign or might be for internal use only. And some pages you only want to have seen after a visitor has been to your uh, site and visited other pages on, on the site, such as a thank you page after a conversion. Okay, so what actually happens when a search engine encounters a no-index tag on a page? Well, I'm glad you asked that. As part of one of our Stone Temple Consulting virtual keynote events, we asked Google Webmaster Trends Analyst Gary Eish to clarify what Google does when they encounter a no-index on a page. You can watch a video of that segment at the link on your screen right now. First, Gary told us that Google treats no-index as a directive, not a suggestion. In other words, Google will always respect and obey a no-index tag cor correctly implemented on a page. Second, the page will be crawled by Google periodically, even though it is no longer indexed for search results. More about that in a moment. And finally, a page with a no-index tag can still accumulate search ranking signals, such as PageRank, and pass on such other signals to other pages to which it links. Okay, so you said that Google will still crawl the page, but does the frequency of that crawl change? Yes. Gary confirmed that Googlebot will continue to visit the page from time to time in order to check if the noindex tag is still there. However, for a page blocked from indexing for any reason, the crawl frequency will decline over time until eventually visits will occur only every two or three months, according to Gary. Okay, well, great, but that's all very helpful, Eric. But as we know, bad things can happen when SEO tags are misused. So are there any cautions you have about noindex tags? Oh yes, there sure are. Sometimes noindex is used to solve one problem, such as preventing a Google penalty for thin content pages, but inadvertently they create a different problem. For example, even though a noindex pa page still passes page rank, if an important money link on your site links to the noindex page, some page rank is wasted by that page. You can get more detail on that problem, as well as other potential pitfalls of misusing noindex, in my Search Engine Land article at the link on your screen now. It's great information, Eric. Now, to learn how to properly implement the noindex tag on your site, check out Eric's video on the topic from our Digital Marketing Classroom series at the link on your screen. And you can get a full transcript of this video with links to all the resources mentioned by visiting the media tab at stonetemple.com. So thanks for joining us. And remember, there's a new episode of Here's Why every Monday. Mr. Bus Budget, someone put this no index tag on the Farnsworth European Swallow Book. Obviously a mistake. So I removed it. <laughs> well, uh, look at that. We do have determining the velocity of unladen European swallows by Fenster Farnworth, after all. Thank you. Uh, we live to serve. <laughs>